All right, there it is. It is uh, Madison International Speedway. Uh, it is race day. It's cold. It's like 50 degrees, maybe maybe even 48. I think it's windy, and it's like moist and wet and just not enjoyable to be out. But we're excited to be at the racetrack at least. Um, yesterday went really good. We made a couple adjustments. We were unloaded and everything like that. So I uh, got drivers meeting first, then a practice, and qualifying. So I think we get one session again uh, today. So. Uh, yeah, uh, excited to be here, but hopefully it gets a little bit warmer. Racing starts at 2. Um, we'll have Brian on the radio again. So uh, Lauren's going to be here. She brought, She's bringing some awesome food, so that's always a bonus too. So uh, Matt Kenseth's here. Ty Majewski's here. Krause is here. Riley's here. So it'll be a fun day. A lot of, uh, a lot of good friends here. So. Uh, good day for racing. I said that about five times now. Don't have much more to say than that. So I'll uh, take you guys along in the driver's meeting again and then we'll uh, get ready for practice and go through our motions there. So here's a look one more time. The bumps down to one have been getting me, but the rest of the track I just feel like we're good. Three and four were really good. So hopefully our changes are better. So, anybody from the south that watches this, comment whether or not it's supposed to be on bread or a bun. Get me out of there. Or bread or a bun. That's what we would like to know. She thinks it's bread slices, I think it's a bun slice. So, we gotta, we gotta end that debate. Well, it depends if it's a sandwich or a burger. If it's called a bologna burger, then it's on a burger bun. If it's called a bologna sandwich, like a fried bologna sandwich, Which one? What is the most bread. authentic bologna sandwich slash burger? What do you guys do? I already know the pit wall guys told me what exactly what to do. We do have the Duke's mayonnaise. Now we just gotta figure out the buttons, so. All right, we're, uh, we're gonna get ready for practice in a second. And then, uh, I mean, one change. We get one practice, one 15 minute practice. Um, and then we're up for qualifying and we'll do group qualifying today. So 30 trucks, they're taking them all. There's no semi feature or anything. So we're automatically in, which is good. But I don't think we, uh, I think we're fast enough to be probably Close to top 10, maybe a little less again, but we're, we're, uh, we're definitely getting faster with it. So uh, hang tight and we'll check in before practice.
Jake's right now in the uh, qualifying order by what we were in the field. So uh, picked up time from yesterday. So we were at a point, uh, average of 0.5 yesterday. We're now at a 0.2. So we're we're getting there. Uh, fastest lap still was an O though. So we kind of sped up, but we weren't uh, we weren't off. We just kept keeping up with them and getting faster. So. Um, we had to make a small camber change um, for the right front a little bit that was rubbing again a little bit. So I'm going to try to figure that out. Hopefully it doesn't rub anymore. Um, also I'm not going to do visor cam anymore because that thing is, the track is so rough that it's my visor is actually falling down. So uh, we'll be on the roll bar the rest of the day. So uh, other than that, I guess that's about it. We're going to get ready to go out for qualifying. Qualifying is group. It'll be about seven laps I think. and. Uh, yeah, I think it's it. You got anything to add? You don't want to be on camera. Right behind him, that beautiful looking Kalahari number 51 machine out of Stevens Point is Kevin Berg. Realistically though, it's not terrible considering we ran at 0.27 and 10th place, nine positions away was a 0.21. So I mean, we're super close to everybody else. It's just, gotta find a little bit of extra. Some of the fast guys are really firing off quick. So I don't, I'm gonna come to the drawing board and figure out what we can figure out there too. So, uh, I really had high hopes that we were gonna be a little bit better shape than that, but um, Time to kind of regroup and at least get back in the mindset for the uh, heat race in the future now. So at least there's not a B main, that's good, because we would have been in it. So we gotta, uh, we'll get it. Just a little bit of growing pains, I guess, is the way I would put it. So I'm um, going for the heat, a little bit more seat time here, and uh, try to just gain a little bit more experience. That might be what's killing us too a little bit, as the driver doesn't know where to go on the track. I don't know if I've even made the same line all weekend here, so. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, go for the heat and uh, do a little debrief before that. Heat race number two making their way track side. Another eight lap go for the Midwest Truck Series, and this one will be the 51 of Kevin Berg and that Kalahari number 51 on the pole.
in. Got one follow. Just like even I'm working off here. Don't give it to him. Still inside. Got one follow in. From the inside even. Awesome. 
try to find a quieter spot I guess but uh, man was it a hard day I have to say like that was uh, it's one of those days where you just you think that you're doing all right and then <clears throat> and then all of a sudden 
you really get a reality check. So, uh, long story short, as you saw in that race, you know, every time, every time we would uh, maintain enough, we would lose positions out of two. Um, the truck would go through two and hit all these bumps, and the thing would buck and like, buck up and down really, really bad. And then next thing you know, it would just break loose, like snap loose to the point where I'd lose all my momentum. It was either I let off the gas or I just stayed in it. And I tried, I tried both ways, honestly, as, as loose as it was getting. And uh, it didn't help anything. So um, a little down on myself a little bit on uh, driving ability. But we think, we'll see, we're going to make some shock changes here. We think that... We think that the ride attitude on this thing isn't just isn't right uh, since we got it. It feels like the thing is really stiff and bucking back and forth really, really hard. It just doesn't seem right. So uh, the Dells, it was doing that quite often too. So uh, we're going to try and um, change the shocks out. And then we got the race at Marshfield Speedway this weekend. Uh, we'll have an announcement about a giveaway we're doing for that race. Uh, I think later this week when the other vlog comes out, I'll make, or this vlog comes out, I'll make the announcement or even do a separate one we start working on both cars at the same time uh, so we still gotta get cute but uh big thanks to the kalahari resorts and the witten law office i mean it was it's fun to be on track it's fun to run with such a competitive series i mean everybody's so close that um you know it's just it's one of those things but i uh, cannot thank them for their support enough i uh, want to do better for them so we're going to try our best to do better from now on and uh plenty more races to go to we're only on the second one we still got 14 to go so i mean there's always room for improvement we got to keep our heads high on this but uh thank you for everybody that came out and helped me today too and learn for the awesome food and uh just all of my crew for their help and like i said my sponsors i definitely couldn't do without them guys so um i'm gonna pack up for the day this is the end of the vlog so thank you everybody for watching i've had a couple people come up to me at the racetrack now that i never would have thought in a million years would watch us uh, make these videos and it's um, it's always kind of humbling to know that some people are still watching it with this as silly as you might look standing out in the middle of a field at a racetrack talking to a little black box that says GoPro on it so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this one uh, like I said it was a tough day but it was cool because it's a track I'd never made laps at so I got to knock that off my list of things I, I haven't done so I got to look at it on the on the bright side so uh, they got about 100 laps left in this race and it is starting to rain a little bit so I don't know if they're gonna get it in but um, like and comment subscribe head on over our Facebook page keep in touch with our with our giveaways and stuff like that look at those two hoodlums but yeah love my crew love everybody that supports me I can't thank them enough so love you guys for watching I, I like I said it blown away how many people actually watch this stuff so Thank you guys again and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you again for watching Vlog 51. If you guys enjoy this kind of content, head on over to my buddy Boo Carlisle on his kicking asphalt race vlog. Also centerline off with my buddy Jake Jump and his vlog. And if you guys can't get enough racing like myself, go listen to Doc Love and the Pitwall Podcast for all your racing audio needs. Uh, they're great guys. Uh, we're teaming up as a group to try to bring uh, short track racing to the front where it needs to be media wise so head on over to their channels as well after you're done watching here and uh, let's keep racing alive and well thanks